this session we will see a new data type in python that is dictionary so this is the outline of this session first dictionary functions which are the different functions and what do you mean by dictionary literals how to add and remove keys how to access and replace values in a dictionary how to traverse a dictionary and what is a reverse lookup or how can we do the reverse lookup using dictionary so dictionary is an unordered collection of items so all the previous data items or data types like list tuple string everything was ordered right ordered in the sense if we specify a position of an item we can get the corresponding item using index and all right yeah that means items are ordered each individual member or element of the corresponding data type has a specific position yeah this one is after this one this one is before that one like the order was there but in case of dictionary there is no such order we don't know in which position a particular item is residing okay that is the first specialty of this dictionary and the second one it organizes information by association okay so association in the sense we can see an example phone book in your uh, mobile phone so in that case there is an association between a name and his number right that is an association like that to store a, store a set of associations we are using dictionaries so example for such things here the typical example in a dictionary the name of a person whose mobile number that is an association another person his mobile number another association so in this case of phone number and all we are not bothered about the position word that in which position this uh, person's mobile number is stored right yeah we are not bothered about the order but once we given once we given a name for searching we should get the corresponding phone number that's an association right yeah that is the purpose of this dictionary dictionaries are optimized to retrieve values when the key is known so first in the association we are calling it as key value pair this is the key and the corresponding value is the second one so if you specify the key we should be able to return the value and these dictionaries are optimized to retrieve such operations okay now how to create a dictionary by placing items in such curly braces separated by comma so three types of expression uh, square bracket for list simple parentheses for tuples and curly braces for dictionary an item has a key and the corresponding value expressed as key value pair key then colon then value this is uh, the format of a single item while values and the constraint here is that while values can be of any data type can, and can repeat keys must be immutable type and it must be unique also immutable type uh, it can be string number or tuple with immutable elements but values can be of any type okay because we are uh, doing all the operation using keys so it should be unique and should not be changeable that is the main constraint here and we can also create a dictionary using the built in function dict we we can convert another uh, tuple or something into a dictionary using the dict method we we'll see some example for dictionaries first one is uh, d is equal to empty curly braces we are creating an empty dictionary and assigning into variable d and second one we are assigning another dictionary with two items are the first item is always the all the items are of key value pair here the key is one and the corresponding value is apple comma separate second uh, item is two colon ball the key is 2 and the value is ball like that we can have a mixer type also the first one the key is a string and the value is also a string second one key is an integer and the value is a list this also possible in case of a dictionary now how to create dictionary using this uh, built in function dict we are converting another one a list into a dict see the item should be of a pair type then only we can convert into a dictionary here we have a list 
each individual items are tuples with two values so in that case we can convert into a dictionary the first value will be uh, taken as the key and the second one is taken as the value so if we try to print after converting that into a dictionary using the this dict method you can see here it is converted into a dictionary the first item is one apple and the second is two ball like that here also we are converting a list nested list into a dictionary see here the first item is actually a list with two items one apple and the second is also a list with two items here these individual items in the list were tuples here it is list itself that also converted into a dictionary using this dict method now how to access the individual elements in a dictionary that's the question right because here there is no order we don't know the position of a particular item inside the dictionary how to access individual elements using keys by specifying the key we can access the value so we should know the key what are the different keys based on that we can access the corresponding value key can be used either inside a square bracket or with get method we will see both examples square brackets key error is raised in case of a key is not found in the dictionary so this square bracket method and get method both can be used to access individual items but if we are using the square bracket just like in this that case a key error is raised in case of key is not found in the dictionary so we should be thorough that uh, such a key is there in the corresponding dictionary then we can use the square bracket method whereas if you are not sure about that key is present or not we have to use the get method otherwise some error will be created if we are not uh, or if we are accessing an item whose key is not there in this dictionary get method returns none if the key is not found it will not create an error it will simply return none if we are accessing an item whose key is not present in the corresponding dictionary we'll see example just for example we have a dictionary with two items first one the key is name and the value is ranjit and the second one key is age value is 26 we are accessing an item by specifying the key d of name okay so square bracket or index uh, or the key within square bracket is used to access the individual item since the name is already present as a key in this dictionary it will return the corresponding value okay ranges will be returned like that if we use the function get also d dot get of age we specify the uh, key as the argument to this get function the corresponding value will be returned both act of the same purpose right both the square bracket method and the get method now we are accessing another item whose key is not present in this dictionary d dot get address address is not there as a key in this dictionary right so in that case it will not return anything it will simply return none in case of get method so no issues but if we are trying to access an item with address as the key using the square bracket method what happens it will raise an error key error address is not either in the dictionary so that is a difference between get and square bracket method now how to change or update an existing dictionary so dictionary is mutable we can change the values of uh, different uh, items or we can add it extra items or remove items from, from a dictionary etc existing keys cannot be modified because uh, those are actually immutable data types dictionaries are mutable can add new items change the value of existing items or uh, etc using assignment operator key is already present existing value gets updated so if you are trying to modify by assigning a new value in that case if the corresponding key is already present in the dictionary it will modify the existing value and if the corresponding key is not present what happen it will create a new item in this dictionary that the value will be assigned so a new key value pair will be added to the dictionary 
see example one we have a dictionary with two items first one with uh, uh, we don't know the position okay one item with key as age and value as 26 second item with key as name and value as 10 and we are using this statement assignment statement d of age is equal to 27 okay we are modifying existing key value pair because this age the item with key as age is already present its value will be got modified instead of 26 it will be modified as 27 now if you try to print the dictionary yeah the age is now modified into 27 whereas if you try to assign or modify an item whose key is not present in this uh, dictionary just for example d of address address is not there in the dictionary as a key right yeah we are assigning a value downtown into this address what happens since such an item is not already present in the dictionary a new key value pair will be generated and that will be added to this dictionary in some position we don't know the position here it is uh, inserted as the first item address downtown this key value pair will be added to this existing dictionary now how to remove elements from a dictionary the first method is pop method we can remove an item with a provided key so in case of pop method we have to specify which item to be removed by specifying its key so in, case, in that case it will remove the item with the provided key and returns the corresponding value value will be returned also we'll see example for that and the second method is pop item this can be used to remove and return an arbitrary key value pair so pop item will remove an arbitrary item we don't know which item will be removed we don't uh, specify the corresponding item but simply it will remove an item and clear method will remove all the items from the dictionary and uh, we can use the delete keyword also to remove individual items or entire dictionary itself we'll see example for all those things we have a dictionary here squares first item is one one second is two four three nine item and its square that is the values key value pair in this square dictionary and uh, we are applying this pop operation here squares of pop four four is the key actually so the item with key 4 will be removed that is the item 416 that will be removed from this dictionary and the value will be returned right yeah 16 will be returned now if you try to print the squares what happens that item is removed 416 is actually removed from this dictionary whereas if you are applying this pop item we are not specifying which item to be removed what happens an arbitrary item will be removed because we don't know the position of different items right some of the item from this dictionary one item from the dictionary will be removed okay so what happens here is the item the first item is actually removed one one is removed and that will be returned also that is we are getting one one here next time if we pop some other item may be removed we don't know which item when we return the value we will know oh this is the item removed from the dictionary so if we try to print the squares now yeah that item is also removed one one is also removed so we can apply this delete operation also here delete squares of five means delete the item whose key is actually five so the 525 will be removed in that case no value will be returned now if you try to print squares this remaining two item two four and three nine will be there like that clear function to remove all the items squares dot clear means all the item will be removed now if you try to print squares it will be an empty dictionary item so the delete can be used to either delete an item from a dictionary or to delete the entire dictionary so here delete squares means we are deleting the entire dictionary now if you try to access squares what happens the name error name squares is not defined it's not the it's already deleted now how to traverse a dictionary how to traverse through individual items in a dictionary the same for loop can be used here also just like in case of a tuple list etc we can use the for loop for traversing over different items in a dictionary for loop can so for loop can be used to iterate over a dictionary also the loops variable 
is bound to each key in an unspecified order not the entire item but individual key will be assigned to this iterative variable in an unspecified order randomly some of the item will be assigned so just for example the previous example we have two item age and name with keys values right so for d and d print d we are trying to iterate over this dictionary using a for loop so d is the iterative variable so individual item from this d will be assigned to this iterative variable right here only the key will be assigned to d okay and it will be in an unspecified order we don't know uh, either age or name will be assigned first so in this case if we try to print like this one time we will get like this name will be assigned first because the key only will be assigned to this iterative variable we are trying to print d first time this item is actually assigned to d the corresponding key is name a name will be displayed first second iteration the second item item that is uh, age 26 inside that key will be assigned to d and that will be displayed here now if you try to execute the same again it may be in the different order maybe this one will be assigned first and then this one like that so this is how we can traverse over a dictionary now let us see some more uh, methods those can be applied on a dictionary first one is uh, items so if you apply this uh, method items on a dictionary it will return a list okay a list in which individual items in a list are tuples with a value which is a key value pair in this dictionary so previous example we can take here also we have two items in the dictionary d one was age 26 and second one was uh, name ranges right yeah we are now trying to apply this d dot items on that and we are iterating over that list okay what happens here we are trying to print individual items d is actually individual item from this list right yeah we can see here once we got named ranjit so one key value pair which is converted into a tuple that will be at return for the first time so individual items in this list will be a key value pair made as a tuple the second item in the second iteration of this for loop it will print age 26 that is the second tuple in this list that is d dot items now so we know that uh, items in this d dot items are actually that's a list d dot items is a list in which individual items are tuples right and uh, we can unpack that tuple into a variable we already seen unpacking right yeah taking individual values from a tuple and assigning to individual variable so here also each items in this d dot list is actually d dot items is actually a tuple with two values one is the key and the second one is the corresponding value that we are unpacking into d and v so of course d will be assigned a key and v will be assigned the corresponding values now if we try to print this d and v together this will be the output instead of that name ranjit as a tuple we got individual items here name ranjit age 26 like that now another function is keys d dot keys so this will return all the keys in the corresponding dictionary as a list second one is values values will return a list with all the values in the dictionary so this name and age are the actual keys that will be returned here and second one d dot values all the values range with 26 are the values that will be written as a list now, now the last topic in dictionary that is reverse lookup so far we have learned how to retrieve values given the key right yeah given a for name of a person the phone number will be retrieved but the reverse how can we do that is if we know the value how to return the key from a dictionary that is called reverse lookup we will see that with an example here we have a dictionary marks that uh, dictionary is used to store different subjects and its marks okay so mechanics is the key and the value is 24 physics is the key value is 65 like that and what we require to retrieve here is that 
we need to retrieve the subject names of all the subject whose mark is 65 so we have the value with us we have to return the key back in that case how to do that is actually called reverse uh, lookup and here we are initializing a new list that is all keys and we are doing one thing we are calling that uh, items function here so what it will return items marks dot item means it will return a list right in which individual items are tuples what tuple the key value pair that will be each individual item in the corresponding list okay so and we are uh, using this for loop here to iterate over this uh, list of items so individual item will be assigned to this iterative variable here we are using not a single variable but a key value that means we are unpacking individual tuple from this list this is actually list right yeah we will get a list of items in which one item may be mechanics comma 24 a tuple another tuple physics comma 65 like that those items one by one will be assigned to this iterative variable key value pair so what we are doing here is unpacking that is key value key will be assigned to this variable key and the value from that item will be assigned to value and what we are checking here if value is equal to 65 instead of key we are checking the value if the value is 65 that subject name should be appended to this all keys list okay so all keys list uh, dot append function we are calling that with key should be appended the subject name should be appended so in that case if we try to execute this function and this loop the return value for this all keys will be physics and maths in those two cases what happens the corresponding value is 65 right yeah suppose the first item assigned was mechanics comma 24 that tuple mechanics will be assigned to key and 24 will be assigned to value and we are checking for this condition value is equal to 64 65 no it's just 24 right in that case that uh, key will not be appended again move for the next item it may be some other item maybe chemistry 45 that also this condition is not uh, holding so it will not be appended suppose the third item assigned is uh, max 65 so 65 will be assigned to value max will be assigned to key and we are checking for the condition here value 65 yeah it is uh, satisfied so the corresponding subject name that is a key that will be assigned or appended to this all keys list and that's the same thing happened for this math 65 also so those two subject names those are the keys actually that will be appended to this list and that will be we can display later